technically the, the check had not cleared yet. Even though my, my standings with the bank was available to me, it was still took a five day hold on the bank. So what'd you take out 1500 for? If it hadn't cleared, because I wanted. What do you mean you adjusted the price? What does that mean you adjusted no, the price? Not the not 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 the price of the vehicle. I had cash outside of the bank. I took out the fifteen hundred dollars and left the balance in my bank for Stacy. You just a second. You left the five hundred dollars in your account for her. No, I pulled the fifteen hundred out for Stacy. What was the other five hundred dollars doing? I already had that in my pocket. I left five hundred dollars in my account. Ah, two scammers. Anyway, what happened with the check? She refused to settle, and they pulled the check back. If I were to call Farmers Insurance, would they tell me that this check was paid? That it was paid? Paid! I don't know what they, when I, can I get, talk, please? When, no, you're gonna answer my okay. question. I don't know what they would tell you. Mm -hmm. They told me when I cashed it, that means I settle. They say, when you cash this check, that means you agree to settle. I cashed it because I needed a car. I wanted to settle. I wanted the $2,000 to get a vehicle. Of course they said to you, if you cash this check, that means you accept this settlement. Yeah. So what he says you did was you gave him the check, which looks like a perfectly valid check, that he was cashing at his bank, and then you said to them, I'm not settling with you. Nope. I did not. I would not do that, and I did not do that. Okay. We'll get a number for Farmer's Insurance and find out. We'll recall this case. Thank you. Yeah, this is a recall of case number 93 on the calendar in the matter of Grant versus McMahon. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Parties are reminded you're still under oath. Okay. Let me tell you this, Mr. Grant. I have, in fact, communicated with farmers, and you are absolutely correct. Miss McMahon did not cash that check because she did not accept the settlement. She gave you that check fraudulently, knowing that she was not going to sign the settlement agreement because the claim that you made against the insured of farmers is still pending because you declined to accept the $2,000 settlement. So this is what my order is going to be, sir. First, that you will go with a marshal and pick up the car. That's one. And that she committed fraud and grand larceny. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just a sec. And I am going to give you a copy of this tape so that it will be clear to the local police department that she committed grand larceny unless, madam, you are prepared to return the car. Are you prepared to return the car? I'll return it. Perfect. Fine, whatever. Perfect. I didn't do anything. Just of this a second. Per Just purposely. a second. Right now, you are not out any money. You drove the car for a month. At best, you paid him 400 bucks. At best, if I believe that. So if you're prepared to return the car, I don't have to do the rest. The rest is grand larceny, because that's what you committed when you gave him that check, knowing that you had not filed and signed the settlement of claim. So when are you going to return the car? As soon as I fly back. But I did just, not. Just a second. That's all I want to know. You are returning the car day after tomorrow. That's fine. In the same condition that you got it. That's fine. Do you understand? Yes. I no longer work for that company. She's returning the car to the company. And the court is therefore entering a judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. Bye, folks. Bye, well, excuse me. Step out. Yeah, it never pays to be the nice guy. You know, car, big, car guys get so, such a bad rap for being hustlers and this and that. When I get, was given that check, I was told if I cash it, it means I settle. And you actually go above and beyond to try and help somebody out, and, and this is what happens. But then I needed a car to have for my kids because I had no vehicle, and so I cashed it thinking... She told me she was gonna bring me back the car while I still worked for that company. I was settling, choosing to settle. I didn't know that because I hadn't signed a paperwork, I did none of this intentionally, and he should know that. But I ended up losing my job because of this. Because I'm not like that, dude. My word's my word, and I'm not like that. I try to help out a single mom, and this is what I get.